So, yet another Eurovision review for Tel Aviv 2019. Uh, this one is about the Georgian entry, Surtsinyara, or some such, performed by Otto Nemsadze. Uh, Georgia is one of the countries that I really keep an eye on. Uh, not so much for myself, although I have nothing against them, but for one of my friends that I always watch the final with. She is obsessed with Georgia in the Eurovision Song Contest. Because in 2007, when they first participated, they had a song, you may remember, called Visionary Dream. And my friend just absolutely fell in love with it. She still is crazy about that song. And Georgia is the country that she roots for. So it's always quite sad if they don't make it to the final. Then she has no one to cheer on. And she has to... Yeah, just grieve for Georgia's lack of success. Um, so I always hope they have a good song, so that when we're all together on the Saturday, she'll be able to root for her favorite. Um, and this song is not as good as Visionary Dream. Uh, it's certainly not bad. It's uh, quite a beautiful song, beautiful melody, performed by a pretty decent looking guy, so not a problem in that department. Uh, the man bun is something that doesn't appeal to everyone, but if you like it, you have it here. Um, he has a pretty good voice, pretty good stage presence, nothing at all wrong with it. It's just one of those songs that are so common in the contest. Fine to listen to, actually quite beautiful to listen to, but not very memorable. Ten minutes after you listen to it, it's gone from your mind. Um, so yeah, that's not such a big plus, obviously. Um, because we do need to remember it in order to be enticed into voting for it, and I'm not sure that people will remember this enough to feel that this is the one they want to vote for. Um, but, as I've said before, the lineup this year is pretty weak, and there are a lot of this type of song that's pretty, but maybe not remarkable, not really memorable, it's not catchy. Uh, what it does have though is it has a sort of sound to it that seems to someone who doesn't know much about Georgia to be sort of relatively authentically Georgian. Like it has a, it has a authentic sound to it. Um, if you want to try to understand what I mean, listen to the Norwegian entry, my country's entry. <laughs> it doesn't have authentically, it does not have an authentically Norwegian sound. The way that I perceive that this song has an uh, authentically Georgian sound. So that is a plus. Uh, again, I really hope they'll make it through. But I think it's kind of a coin toss at this point because there are so many songs on that level that who gets through and who doesn't is going to be really down to luck, I think, more than anything. Um, and of course, it depends a little bit on the presentation and the performance on the night. So all I can say is good luck to Georgia. Fingers crossed for you guys.